Foundation at the Center for Inter-American Relations in New York, where this photo was taken by the author. All right, so if we, if this person didn't take a photo of this sculpture here, of this gold piece, we would never probably have known about it. But look at it, it like, like a football helmet. But look at the, what he's got, look at his neck. Just like in some of the African tribes, they're extending the neck, you see that? All right, you see the grill? It says here, the stretched neck and the Africanized Roman helmet, all right? So Africanized Roman helmet and stretched neck. So we got to dodge the hijack. That's why they put it in parentheses because they don't know if it's African. Our most noteworthy, the stick across the mouth might be related to an ancient ceremony still performed by this, still performed in the ear, all right? So did they carry this from over here? All right, look at this, all right? Grill, first grills, all right? You think they didn't rock grills over there? All right, so, so check out this figure right here. Look at her. Look at the features on this. All right, this is from this pre-classic Negroid head from Chiapas, Mexico. All right, that's in the bottom of Mexico near Guatemala. All right. The figure over to the uh, right it says a rare Semite with blonde beard. A beard blonde. I don't see blonde, but it says Semite. Uh, Shemite. Hebrew, is that what he's saying? Fresco in Tetala, Teotihuacan. Look at that, look how he's dressed. And again, you know, it says here, a rare, above, a rare Negroid head of Zapotecan vessel from Oaxaca. All right, look at this. Section Chicago. All right. And it says, to the right, it says, a vigorous terracotta head from Manabi, Ecuador, classic period. This one right here, look, from Ecuador. Look at this. All right. Look at that. All right. So this is a good one right here. I've seen this on the internet. We've used it a lot. All right. Let me just zoom in. All right. Check this out. Look at him. Look at this brother right here. Look at the features on him. You can almost see this person's personality, who he was. It says, classic Moshika. That's over in Peru. Moshika. Meshika. Meshek. Moshi. All right, portrait vessel from Peru, circa AD 600. This exquisite piece is similar to the two Moorish looking heads and color plates. Moorish, because you see the cabbies got on, right? But this is the true old world, all right? It says here, head of Totonac, dancer from Veracruz, showing the subtle fusion of Asiatic and Negroid features. All right, look at that. All right, look at that. Because you are the original people. All right, we got the powerful terracotta head from Veracruz for Negro characteristics right here. And it says this one actually looks Japanese. All right, so we got all kinds of people over here in the Americas, all right? All right, check this one out right here. This is in a rock, this is in a temple. All right, look at him. You got the beard, you got beard, you see that? You got his hair rolled up like this, look at that. So it says a stucco portrait head above the tomb of Zapotec ruler in Labit. Jetco near Mitla, Waxaca, circa 700 AD, excavated by the University of the Americas archaeological staff. Look at this. All right, so right here, you see there's some kind of thing right here. It's actually an arm race. Let me just show you right here. You see the arm, the hands, and supposedly coming from him. This is the face right here. And this is uh, supposedly a Negro. They call it the sensational Negro Tlaloc from the famous Olmec site of Chalcatzinco. Pre-Columbia, the view of the Negroid rock mass carved on top of the mountain overlooking the plains of Morelos. It says here, 31, the Negroid rock mass in color is shown in relation to the symbolic hand above it. The open hand with the outward facing palm is surprisingly similar to the symbolistic hands on Phoenician steles in Carthage from the 4th and 5th centuries BC and the bracelet arm of the Assyrian king Ashur Narsipal, all right, the second from 883 to 859 BC. All right, so check this one now right here. All right, look at this. Look at his hair. Look at his strong features, right? His cheekbones, his nose, his, his lips. All right, where's this from? Again, this is Olmec Monument F from Tres Zapotes, approximately 1100 BC. This photograph was taken in the 1930 while the monument was still lying in a cornfield. It is now in the display in San Andres Tustala, Veracruz. Veracruz. All right, so they try to show a Nubian, a, you know, African, African, 
but we got many people that look like that here that are Aboriginal and autochthonous to America. All right, dodge the hijack. All right, more images for you, for your senses. Look at the sister right here with her hair. Look at that with her hair to the side. All right, look at her. You know, we know what are we looking at here? Stuff they never showed us, right? It says that this person actually looks this one right here, which is up to the side with the beard. Dignitary with some sumptuous necklace and Egyptian looking headgear. Egyptian looking headgear. I right, was the true old world. All right, some Olmec heads. All right, from Tres Apotes in San Lorenzo, Mexico. Right, so let's see some more Olmec heads. Oh, look at these ones. Look at this one here. His brother got a beard. It looks like he got a flat top. Look at his hair, though, looks a little curly, kinky, right? Look at their hair. All right, what does that resemble? Look at them. Look at this. Please use your senses. What is this we're looking at? What are we looking at here, all right? What are we looking at? Look at her, look at this. This is from Mexico, I believe. America, from America, all right? Look at her hair, these are not Africans. That's right, so those figurines again. That says A and B, the two figurines from Las Bocas, Puebla, Mexico. A woman of typical Olmec Asiatic type and a white bearded man. Contra Olmec, both middle pre-classic. C, D, and E, three small terracotta heads, two Negroid and one Semitic type, all right, from Guerrero, Mexico, all right, so we're talking about these ones right here, all right, C, D, and E, look at this. And this would be the Semitic looking one, look at his beard, look at the full beard, right, looks bald, he has hair on the side, to the side, look at this. Look at this beard. Look at this beard. They didn't have beard, they say. Alright? Alright, just look at this. Look at the face painting. Alright? It says this is an effigy vessel of a magician from Costa Rica. Alright? Now look at this brother right here. Alright, what does that look like to you? Huh? Give you a second. You tell me. Look at this. All right, so this is where I got this image from. <laughs> yeah, as soon as I saw it, I'm like, man, that looks like Little Wayne. And then I found this picture, I was able to put it next to it. I'm like, yeah, man, that looks just like him. Look at the, how oh, he has tattoos still. Wow, all right. This next one right here as well, look at this. This is a gold piece. All right, this is detailed of a heavily tattooed Negroid terracotta figure from the province of Guanacaste in Costa Rica. Guanacaste, very indigenous region here in Costa Rica, the lower part of Mesoamerica. All right, now take a look at this. Look at his features, right? Look at his features. Let's close in. Let's zoom in. All right, so look at his features right here. All right, look at this person. He's like holding up something. He's in the bottom of some kind of a seat or something. 